Various note-taking apps offer a variety of tools to help students with their learning, such as layers, tape, and flashcards. GoodNotes uses flashcards that you create on the app's homepage. When creating a new notebook, go to Study Set instead of Notebook. You can name your new flashcard deck, choose a language for it, and a thumbnail color. to start adding flashcards to your deck. Each flashcard has a question and answer part. The tools you have for creating your flashcards are the same for both sides. You can add text, That goes in the middle of the card. Add a photo. or handwrite on the card. Handwriting gives you all the features that we've already covered for taking notes in GoodNotes 6. It is better to use the handwriting feature instead because then you have full control over your images and text and how they relate to other items on the page. Because once you add text or a photo, you can't handwrite anything on that card. So you're better just handwriting from the start. To add a new flashcard, tap the new page icon. Your flashcards scroll horizontally, going through the different flashcards. And to see both sides of your card, to move from the question to the answer, you do that vertically. The three dots icon lets you duplicate the card to create an exact copy of the current flashcard on your screen. Delete card deletes a single flashcard. And this can't be undone, so be careful when deleting cards. To start revising your flashcards, go to the flashcards deck icon. You can choose Smart Learn or Practice. Smart Learn opens your flashcards in a window where you can test yourself. You can change the background of your screen for your study session. You can answer the question on a rough or scrap paper. Tap on the flashcard to reveal the answer once you've attempted to answer it. The app can read out your text questions. What is the formula for image size? But the AI is a bit unnatural. We can then rate the card as still learning or new it depending on how well you answered it. Cards that you don't know which you are still learning will repeat and your learning session will not end as long as you have cards that you are still learning. So you might want to quit the session by going to close. When you know all your cards, 
The app then tells you when your next study session will be. Practice has a similar setup to what you get with SmartLearn. Only this time you don't get to write your answers. You can shuffle your flashcards for better practice. You can also repeat the session and just keep going as long as you want.